Good afternoon, everyone. I am Dr. Kavita Shukla. I'm the head of admissions here at Amity University, Dubai. And I welcome you all to this uh, webinar on uh, psychology programs here at Amity University. Uh, we run two programs in uh, psychology, both at uh, bachelor's and master's level. And uh, we have with us today the program leader for, for uh, psychology programs at Amity, uh, Dr. Sonakshi Rohela. And she will take you through the, um, uh, through the program, the possible placements, um, the details of the course and uh, what our students have been doing till now. So uh, Dr. Sonakshi, thank you for joining us and um, uh, please take us through the uh, program and uh, we will open uh, at, towards the end of the presentation, we will open up to uh, question and answers. So attendees, all of you students, uh, please reserve your questions. You can keep writing your questions in the chat box and um, I, I will keep replying to them. Yeah, thank you so much, Dr. Sunakshi. Please uh, take us through the program. Thank you so much, Dr. Kavita. Very kind of you. Uh, very warm welcome uh, to all the participants. Uh, I must uh, share that I'm ex very, very excited to take you through the program and take you through the activities that my students have done over a period of time. Uh, so we shall move to the objective of the, progr of the program today. I have kept four very specific objectives before, uh, you know, besides talking about psychology in general. One is we're going to talk about the emerging need of psychology in UAE. Now, uh, specifically with COVID-19, uh, you know, it's nearly subsiding as most people say, yet in the out outbursts as well. We will talk about uh, the emerging need, the amount of, uh, you know, uh, pressures that people face, whether in terms of quarantine anxiety or other things and how UAE has done a commendable job uh, in bringing front forward the well-being and the mental health concerns in UAE. Then we're going to switch to talk about areas or specializations under psychology because you know as i as i always feel psychology is seen under a microscopic view where people always feel psychology is all about clinical and counseling and organizational well uh, i'll surprise you today when i share with you that there are multiple avenues under psychology that we can pursue I will take you through the career prospects for sure. Uh, at the end of the day, everybody asks me one question. What is my child or what am I going to do after I graduate from a bachelor's degree in psychology or a master's degree in psychology? So I shall take you through all the available prospects. And then the last and the most important aspect is why Amity? What are the things that Amity offers which are unique to our course and which is the reason why you should be picking up this course with us? Uh, I thought I'll take a leverage in sharing with you this glimpse of my department. This is my department of psychology. And uh, I'm very proud in telling you this, that in 2016, September, when we commenced the department, we had a wonderful batch of 14 students. And from 2016 to 2019, our prospects and growth have been manifold. You know, we moved from having 14 students in 2016 to now currently having over 150 students in the department, from having one bachelor's program, so as Dr. Kavita mentioned here, having bachelor's and master's program in our department. So it's a, it's a proud feeling for me, and therefore I thought I must share this with you. Now, uh, before we move into why psychology should be a preferred field for you, let me talk about psychology through my lens. I always tell everybody that I meet that psychology can be subsided into one basic formula. And that basic formula is that till the time human interactions will exist, psychology will be alive. It's a very simple phenomenon. Therefore, I call psychology as a psychosphere, which means the atmosphere of psychology everywhere. You pick up any profession. If there is human interaction, like I said, there will be psychology that will be active. So psychology works on two very different principles. One is on the principle of uncertainty which is we always believe that the only certain thing is uncertainty. And so we are dynamically adapting to change. As a psychologist, as a student of psychology, you should be somebody who should believe in the idea of uncertainty. 
For example, before COVID-19 hit us, nobody spoke of quarantine anxiety as such. But the moment we had, uh, you know, a situation of uh, COVID, suddenly there are so many talks and so many things about quarantine anxiety in place. So we adapted. Likewise, the second very important principle on which psychology works is the principle of possibilities, which means and in the psychosphere, you should be somebody who has the idea of trying yourself, is curious enough to look for different avenues, opportunities, possibilities. And therefore, these are things that make psychology the most interesting discipline. So let me take you through how UA is doing when it comes to psychology. As you all know, and let me tell you something very important here. I was looking at the current statistics and I thought I must share with you. You know, the global media insights gave us the UAE population statistics of 2020 and published it on the 28th of April 2020, stating that 88.52% of the population in this country is an expat population and 11.48% is the local population. Now, can you imagine a country with an 88.52% population, which is expat population, is subconsciously having a lot of uh, subliminal anxiety and anxiety whether, uh, you know, will I have a job tomorrow? If I have a job tomorrow, then I, will I be able to extend a visa tomorrow? If I don't extend a visa, what's going to happen? I have so many loans or I have this or I have that or will I be able to have children? Will my children be able to study in the best of the schools? So as a UAE resident, even if you see in your own houses, there is a subliminal anxiety that you will see in almost every resident possible because we are in a country and we are an expat population. So UAE with as high as 88.52% population of expats is definitely suffering from a subliminal anxiety. However, on the contrary, if you see, UAE is the only country in the world with a Ministry of Happiness, Ministry of Tolerance, and now recently a Ministry of Possibilities that was inaugurated last year in 2019. So if you see, these three ministries are taking the best care possible for the mental health of the clients, for the mental health of their residents. And these ministries are also ensuring that there are newer opportunities for expat population. And so this dichotomy of UA, where there are cases of anxiety that's going up, whereas there is a lot of other things which are done to make sure that there is positive impact of or the mental health of the people are taken care of makes us a very interesting case study or an example of how psychology is thriving in this nation if you look at these articles you will be able to see how there are various fellowships there are various grants there are various other opportunities are given to researchers to come up with new aspects where positive well-being mental health of the clients or the other residents can be taken care of and well as you and i speak i must tell you that on an average 128 research papers have been published and discussed and deliberated all over the world on coronavirus only 128 on a daily basis. So you can imagine how much we are talking about mental health here, uh, you know, or it's become the talk of the town and the talk of the world, let me tell you. So Dubai Health or Dubai uh, as a country, as a place, opens up various avenues to make sure that there is immense happiness, there is immense creativity, positivity in the residents. And so Dubai Health launches a happiness center, which is again a very important aspect of the Latifa Hospital. Nonetheless, there are also some sad news. If you see, look at the data here, 2014 to 2015, we almost saw a double increase in the causes of and the cases of domestic violence. Likewise, during the quarantine period, we heard some very sad news coming from Sharjah, where they said in 90 days, over 400 cases of domestic violence came to the forefront, which means there is an emerging need. There is something that is happening where there is a gap when there is a country who's trying to take care of us to the bestest of possibilities, yet there are cases that are refusing to subside, which basically means there is a gap. And there is a gap because we have a shortage of doctors to treat mental illnesses in UAE. 
We have a shortage of mental health practitioners. We have a shortage of school psychologists. There are schools with over 4,000, 5,000 student strengths and only two or three or four school counselors over them. Basically looking at one school counselor over 1,000 students' mental health, that's not possible. Now, it's not like schools are not looking for school counselors. The problem is we are on shortage of staff. We're on shortage of psychologists. We are on shortage of doctors who could treat mental health illnesses. So what do we come to? What is the crux of the whole uh, dilemma? What is the crux of the whole thing here? The crux is that there is immense need for psychologists in UAE. There is a very high need for psychologists in UAE. However, the supply is low. The number of people coming towards psychology as a profession is comparatively lesser at this point of time. So we need to increase that you know, supply to meet the demands of the mental health practitioners in UAE. Because this is making the most interesting case. You imagine, if you look at economics as well, demand is very high, supply is low, makes it the best possible avenue to venture into. So let me now take you to another interesting era, which is what we often think of psychology. You know, even now, sometimes when I go back home, where I belong to, I belong to India. When I go back home, people often ask me, oh, you're a psychologist? Okay, don't, don't look at my face. Don't, don't face read me. Oh, where is your pendulum? Yeah, oh, are you, are you looking at me? Are you analyzing me? What are you thinking about me? What do you think of me? How's my behavior? These are usual questions that we've been asked as a psychologist. Nonetheless, like I mentioned, we often view psychology through a microscope which says psychology only exists as clinical, as counseling, as organizational. But let me tell you, like I said, I'm going to give you a surprise and the surprise is the extremely wide web of psychology. So psychology is the umbrella term and under this umbrella are plethora of options that we, we can work with. For example, Dubai hosted the football weaver. The football weaver needed sports psychologists. Most of the sports psychologists either belonged here or they were borrowed from Australia. So we need grief counselors. We need sports psychologists. We need school counselors. We need educational psychologists. So if you look at this web, you will be able to understand that there is a huge need of developmental psychologists or social psychology, which is very important. Now, what's the field of social psychology? When we're looking at how, you know, the crowd, the mob behavior, the society in general impacts the mental health of the person. These days with the unfortunate demise of a very popular celebrated actor, Indian Bollywood actor, the whole world has come to a platform where they're talking about depression, mental health, or uh, you know, they're talking about things such as uh, what, what, could, what sort of a lobbying can do to a person, how mental health of a person is important. Now these conversations are not only pertaining to a clinical psychologist, they also become a very important uh, you know, medium of conversation for a community psychologist, a social psychologist, a health psychologist. So there are different fields in psychology. We have forensic psychology, which is very popular. We have criminology, which is very popular. Then we have something which is very popular even now is how psychologists have joined hands with engineers to work on concepts such as artificial intelligence, robotics, you know, I personally have a paper in security network analysis. So you could you could look at multiple ways through which psychology is driving. Like I said, psychology is always the base. It's where wherever your human interactions are, it will always come active. So all the other disciplines, it will become like a connecting force. Like in tourism, there is tourism, psychology and behavior. In media, there is media psychology. If even if you're a gynecologist towards uh, you know, even if you're a gynecologist, you have a lot of psychologists who help gynecologists these days because there is infertility, there is other issues, there are so many PCOD related issues. And therefore, psychologists who look after the stress bit of it, mental health bit of it, home and work balance bit of it, is always supporting the gynecologist, the cardiologist in the hospital. There are neuropsychologists. What is neuropsychology? Where brain and nervous system are the ones that take the lead and are the ones that are either, you know, you're suffering. There is some nervous system related issues. There are some brain cell related issues. These are issues that we're discussing. Neuropsychology will quickly come to your rescue. 
Then there are aspects such as geriatric population, which is retired population, old age population, or pediatric population, which is very young children. You know, everywhere you will see, you will find a psychologist who can help you through it. So like I said, there is a huge web of psychology from neurosciences to cognitive sciences to, oh, this is a very interesting aspect, psychometric and qualitative assessments from personality testing to intelligence testing to testing whether a child is autistic or not to testing whether a child has a low IQ or not so that we could refer them to a special needs person as per, per se. So there are various ways of rehabilitation psychologists. In a lot of prisons, you will see juvenile acts that have gone, you know, that, that, that require rehabilitation. So psychologists come to the rescue. Mental retardation, organizational psychology. These days, a dentist is also called root canal specialist. So you can imagine people specialize in psychology to do further specialization. For example, I am a counseling psychologist whose specialization is family therapy. So I work after looking after relationships and family, but my original, uh, you know, my basic uh, specialization is counseling psychology. So we are all diversifying from one or the other end in psychology. Another important question that I'm usually asked is, you're offering a BA. What's the difference between a BA and a BSc in psychology? Trust me, the only difference is in the nomenclature. We come from the northern part of India in our home campus. And therefore, in the northern part of India, usually all the courses are addressed as BA, Bachelor of Arts, specifically psychology, sociology, anthropology. They're all known as Bachelors of Arts courses in, uh, you know, arts honors courses. Therefore, this is BA. Nonetheless, we teach you all the research related work. We teach you research, basic research, advanced research, statistics paper, academic research papers, all of that, which you see in a BSc course as well. So if you will go and check the score for BSc, the courses for BSc, program structure and BA, you will find no difference except for the nomenclature. So now the most important question that people usually ask is, where will a career in psychology take you? Well, the answer for that is these four specifically, nonetheless, anywhere that you want to switch into. For example, hospitals. You could work as a clinical psychologist, as a counseling psychologist, as a special educator, as an occupational therapist, as anybody who wants to do specific in testing, such as psychometric testing, rehabilitation psychologists. There are multiple avenues only in a hospital or a clinic that you can open up tomorrow for yourself also where you could work as a psychologist. Now, psychologists are highly paid doctors in UAE. Yes, this is true. There are times a licensed psychologist, or not times, there, there is fortunately, the licensed psychologist in UAE can charge up to 800 to 1,000 to 1,200 to 1,500 dirhams for a 40 minute session, taking up to five to six cases or sometimes seven cases in a day. Yes, so we are very highly paid doctors in uh, UAE. Then schools. As a school, uh, you know, uh, in schools, you have great avenues to become school counselors, educational psychologists, or IEP experts. Now, IEP is individualized education program, which is usually very specific to special needs children. And in UAE, we have in percentage the third highest population for autism. And because we have a third highest population for autism, the IEP experts or the, uh, you know, the special needs or the autism, uh, you know, specialists can actually work with hospitals or special school, with schools or special schools, as say, to make a good, uh, you know, career out of this. Then corporates, any organization you pick up, whether there is human relation, human resources as an avenue, or you want to look at, uh, uh, you know, um, anything from aptitude testing or recruitment specialist or post consumer, you know, consumer psychology is a very big avenue, personal relations, interpersonal relations, international. So all these international relations, wherever you have an avenue where there is a human dialogue, there is a negotiation, there is marketing, there is sales, there are so many different avenues in psychology which teach you how to negotiate or how to make your way through something for example one of the very popular avenues this day 
uh, in psychology is to do a, is to do a certification course on neuro linguistic programming which is called nlp right so neuro linguistic programming will help you make your way through marketing scales advertising very easily in the corporate sector then uh, definitely you have you can reach out to community you can reach out to any international or domestic NGOs uh, in fact in UAE itself you have international humanitarian city which is doing great work with a lot of people who, who are in need who require some services who requires uh, you know help through uh, some uh, experts so you could look at like I said autism rehabilitation you could look at motivating people pediatric population orphanages uh, there is geriatric population which needs to be taken care of so there are so many community centers or NGOs international domestic which can help you deal through that besides that also psychology like like we are you know like like uh, in the academic field in the academic research field there are multiple avenues where you could use psychology like an educational psychologist in different avenues or like a research specialist these are different areas where psychology is extremely popular now uh, again one of my favorite parts why should you come to amity now you should come to Amity because of one very important reason. See, when, when we came to uh, UAE in 2016, we started the department, we did realize that, you know, usually psychology was offered like a business psychology course. So it was offered like an integrated course with some other specialization. However, psychology is a broad discipline in itself that needs a lot of study. So we in we opened up a course called as ba honors applied psychology teaching you all the courses that all the places all the fields where psychology is applied so if you if you allow me i'll let you know that in the first and the second semester we try and have uh, you know we try and teach you basic courses of psychology like general psychology uh, developmental psychology child psychology very basic researches we do this so that we could you know bring people who are non psychology field in their 11th and 12th at par with people who had psychology before so in the first and the second semester we try to give you an opportunity to uh, understand psychology at the very basic level and then in the third and the fourth semester is when we start teaching you about generic uh, fields in psychology such as abnormal psychology psychopathology uh, sports psychology educational psychology counseling psychology uh, then we talk about positive psychology so these are the various disciplines that we start to talk about we teach you we introduce you statistics we introduce you academic research paper writing. We teach you, uh, you know, generic state, uh, st statistical writing. We try and teach you through all these seminars and things where you understand what are the different fields in psychology. One very important field that we also teach, which I'm going to talk about later, is experimental psychology, which is psychometric testing. And then when you move to your final semesters, we also move with you to offer you more specialization electives. Like there are people who could use another discipline such as forensic science we have a very well established department of forensic science as well uh, you know you could choose a course from there like a criminal psychology or introduction to forensic psychology which could be a course that you could study or take as an additional credit for you so we offer a buffet of courses in psychology because we know very well that or we understand this very well that when you join us from a school you might like depression or you might like to work in clinical psychology but you might not know how does it feel when you sit as a therapist to work with a depressive patient so nonetheless these fields are taught to you so that we give you or you we open the horizons for you to understand that there are these many other courses and you want to try yourself in that see i have students who come to me and say you know um I want to be a clinical psychologist and they end up being excellent, uh, you know, um, human resource specialists in some big firms or people who come to us saying, you know, we want to be a trainer in development. We are very sure of it. And they tend up to become, you know, child psychologists. So these buffet of courses are available with you. So you could test and try yourself which area feels field suits you best. 
we offer you 180 hours of internship in a bachelor's program and over 200 hours of internship in a master's program. Now, 180 hours is divided into two semesters. In, the semest in semester three, which is the third semester, second year, we give you an option to go uh, you know, on an internship, minimum 90 hours. Likewise, in your summer internship in semester five, we give you a 90 hours internship. Now, these internships could be either in your home country or if it's through a running, through a running semester, then it has to be in UAE. We look at different options and avenues to place you, sometimes schools, sometimes organizations, sometimes some hospitals, sometimes clinics, sometimes private clinics. We try our best to look for internships for you. Some of the examples are I have students who have gone for summer internship are still going for summer internship in Sir Gangaram Hospital in Delhi, Wim Hans, Max Hospital, Apollo Group of Hospitals. Then some are working with HSBC, Emirates Islamic Bank. So there are a plethora of options where our students do internship, which is our unique quality. Then we offer psychology in theory, like I mentioned in the courses, along with practice. Now, when I say theory plus practice plus internship makes a best combination for psychology. You cannot be sitting on the benches to study psychology until unless you try yourself outside. Therefore, this theory plus practice plus internship is a magical formula for you to understand psychology to its depth. Now, practice means we give you over 30, 30 psychometric tests in a period of three years which means each semester you roughly take care of five different psychometric tests. They could be personality testing, they could be aptitude testing, intra schedule, they could be, uh, like I said, IQ testings, uh, they could be any sort of testing, self-esteem testing. So there are multiple tests that you learn. These are tools that you could use tomorrow when you start practicing as a therapist. Then we give you exposure to newer developments in psychology. One of the, uh, you know, one of the things that we're working quite, quite strongly now is on psycho-oncology, which is a cancer patients, you know, psychologists who help cancer pa patients or who help people have a, you know, different and a very um, uh, hopeful perspective about life. So newer de developments in psychology are happening, like, you know, uh, like, like I said, psycho-oncology or quarantine period, dealing with quarantine anxiety. Now, these are things which are very important for us to understand. So we provide you multiple guest lectures in educational visits. If you ask me in numbers, we roughly provide five to eight guest lectures each semester. Because by the time you and I will have a conversation, there is some newer development that has happened in psychology. So we bring the best of the guest lectures. We bring the best of the educational visits. We want you to move around a lot in the, uh, in the uh, market area. And so we often indulge in that. We have strong industry connections, whether you speak about EduScan, which is de dealing with special needs, or we have, uh, we had a, uh, you know, MOU with the UA Genetic Disease Association, uh, looking after genetic counseling. Uh, we work with Lighthouse Arabia, Allo, Rashid Center for Special Needs, Dubai Community Health Center, Aura Healing Center. We work with Emirates Islamic Bank. We work with HSBC. We work with a lot of a plethora of strong industry connections that we have makes us very unique when, when it comes to these courses. And therefore, internships, industry expertise, you know, having industry experts as your mentors become easy for us. So like, at, like I said, you know, at Amity, we're looking at a holistic learning pl platform, you know, where you're doing research also, you're doing internship also, you're looking at theory also, you're learning practicals also, you're learning psychometric tools also. We are equipping you to make the best use of psychology in your master's program or further in the market situation. So this is our, we try and equip you through all things. Uh, you know, a very basic thing that I can think over the top of my head is basic listening and empathy skills. Now, this is a subject that I teach personally, empathy skills. Now, when students come to me and say, you know, empathy is very easy. No, it's not easy. So we teach you those basic things as well at Amity. These are the research publications, some of them that I have mentioned that I have done with my bachelor's students. These are papers that are published papers in either iScholar or international journals. And you can, you can definitely ask me for more and I can give you the access for it. If you, write, uh, if you write the names and if you search through the authors, you'll be able to find these papers online. These are our biannual publications. We come up with this magazine called Science Fire. 
from the uh, you know cover of the page till the end of the page everything is a student activity we come up with brain freshments in science fire regularly because you know these are these are students way of venting out their positive and positivity and creativity and it becomes a benchmark for us to you know to see the entry and the exit of the student basically so it's a good way of us to evaluate how the student is doing with us they they put on their feelings and thoughts everything in this journal which is very important for us these are our community engagement initiatives i'll take you through them this was uh, you know our participation with uaj gda when they did the rare disease day and we celebrated it with them uh, you know we had some guest lectures and usually our guest lectures are attended by a cluster of students we also regularly go to accessibility expo we go to hrm summit regularly our students participate in multiple interdisciplinary interdepartmental activities such as the fashion show uh, this is by the way a picture of faced which is the sustainable initiative of fashion department where a psychology student has participated uh, we uh, regularly celebrate the world mental health day and the world autism awareness day these are two landmark days that we celebrate every year so this is a picture of my students uh, in the campus uh, joining hands saying we all together we stand for mental health these are the practical classes going on and uh, very very successful practical classes cluster of students doing this kind of work in the labs uh, this is Dr. Maryam Matar. She is the chairman of the UAGDA initiative, and she we attend regularly a lot of conferences or summits. You know, we take our students for paper presentations or listening to the paper presentations. So this is one of those UAGDA organized conferences where students were present. Thank you so much. This brings me to the end of my uh, presentation, and I hope you've got a very uh, you know aerial view of how psychology is. Thank you so much, Dr. Kavita, for arranging this uh, wonderful, uh, you know, platform for us to speak to the students. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Sunakshi, for this uh, uh, wonderful presentation. And I'm sure the questions will pour in, and we have a large number of attendees, and uh, the students will be excited to ask you questions, more questions. Now, okay, the, we have the first question from Aisha Ahmed. And Aisha is asking, is it necessary to complete a PhD or uh, psych uh, complete a PhD or psychology degree to work in hospitals or open our own office? So what is the terminal degree to uh, to uh, for PhD to work in uh, for uh, to for a student to work in a hospital? master's degree you need to be a master specifically in uae if you're looking at a licensing if you want to work in a hospital or you want to open up your clinic you need to have a license for that and for license you need a master's in psychology with two years of work experience per se so a master's oh. plus two years of work experience is important for you to work in the clinical sector in uae okay so uh, you need a master's degree so we do have masters at amity university so we are offering both uh, uh, ba in psychology and ma in psychology so any student who's joining the uh, bachelor's level will can you can stay with us and um, uh, do a masters okay so uh, fella sadat is asking yeah yeah there is another thing, Dr. Kavita, I'd like to add here. We offer, uh, you know, Dr. Kavita uh, is very kind enough to offer the master's program in the evening batches, which gives you an opportunity to work in the morning, which is a very important aspect. So that means you can complete yeah, your work. We have flexibility, yeah, we have flexibility uh, in the master's programs. So uh, we can have the classes in the evening. Okay, so yeah. Pala Sadat is asking, is Amity University Ministry accredited? Uh, right now we are not we are currently under khda but we are going for the uh, for the ministry accreditation so uh, uh, fala by the, by the time you graduate we will certainly be a moe accredited university uh, palak mishra which kind of jobs will i be able to get after i complete a ba in psychology applied psychology so nakshi you want to take this you will be yes you will be uh, you can look at yourself doing any work in the rehabilitation sector ngo sector xyz nonetheless you cannot work in a hospital industry here at this moment recently uae came up uh, uae 
usually uh, community development authority in uae looks after the licensing and they came up with this one uh, very interesting thing uh, during the quarantine period you could be a psychology assistant after a bachelor's degree which means that after a bachelor's degree you can apply for a license that license will say you are a psychology assistant and you can work with a doctor in that aid particular area so this is something you should explore you can go on the community development authority website and look for psychology assistant after bachelor's program nonetheless you can work in any corporate as a you know as a junior as a trainee uh, however we always emphasize that uh, psychology is uh, you know masters is a crucial step in psychology yeah a uh, masters is a, a good degree to have in psychology uh, because it deals with a very higher level of uh, human interaction uh, okay so um, uh, palak we have answered you sama nisar is asking what all schools of psychology does, does amity cover in ba and ma programs what all schools of psychology yeah. uh, is, are there any schools of psychology sunakshi yes so uh, yes we're looking at the applied uh, sector and when we look at the applied sector we're catering to uh, different schools clustered as counseling uh, uh, abnormal psychology we're not looking at clinical psychology per se we're looking at psychopathology here organizational psychology and applied research these are the four avenues and schools of psychology that we're looking after we are we okay, you know the umbrellas uh, like i said you know all the areas that come under psychology we definitely teach you that at the orientation level not at a very uh, advanced level in a bachelor's okay. program wonderful so uh, parisha siro uh, sirohia is asking could majoring in psychology at an undergraduate level help careers in marketing i think uh, dr sonakshi covered that that uh, yeah. in marketing you you can uh, 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 you can have a great career in marketing with a psychology degree okay so quinel binobo is saying thank you for the presentation i am planning on completing my masters degree in speech uh, pathology yeah. in the us so i would like to ask if this degree is recognized internationally now uh, quinel a um, very good question and i am very happy to uh, say that amity university accreditations are in place and all the degrees issued by amity university are worldwide recognized so uh, in india we are a university grants commission that is the highest uh, accreditation body in india so um, we are ugc approved uh, we are a 100 percent offshore campus of amity university uttar pradesh which is uh, approved by uh, ugc and uh, all our um, uh, campuses are uh, uh, auup and um, uh, amity dubai uh, both are approved by wasc which is the world association of schools and colleges then our engineering degrees are approved by iet and so on a institutional level we are covered with all types of accreditations and uh, uh, all our degrees are internationally recognized if you go to linkedin and type amity university dubai or amity university uttar pradesh you will see where our alumni are working currently so that is uh, something about accreditation so we are all accredited okay durga kalyani is asking i have chosen applied psychology course here and for my masters i'd like to take criminology so right now what uh, beneficial credits can i take along with my applied psychology course is there yes, anything you, in addition dr sunakshi yes in the final year of your bachelor's in applied psychology you can definitely take an additional or credited paper in introduction to forensic psychology or introduction to criminology or criminal psychology uh, per se uh, nonetheless if you're very sure that this is an area that you want to go into uh, i can definitely help you seek many other certification courses besides uh, you know uh, besides amity uh, you know courses from dubai police or uh, very um, uh, important and relevant courses and certifications that will make up for a good case for you to do a masters however in our final year you can definitely choose an elective from the other department which is forensic sciences wonderful so uh, fella uh, fella sadat has another question she is asking after studying undergraduate in uh, uh, ba can we study postgraduate in msc uh, yes yes definitely if you see my personal degrees are like that 
I've studied a bachelor's from Delhi University and a master's from, uh, you know, Bangalore. So it is no MSc from Bangalore. There is no hard and fast rule that you have to do a BA and an MA. You can do a BA and then you can do an MSc. That's not an issue at all. And like I said, it's okay. only nomenclature difference, nothing else. Wonderful. Uh, so uh, we have a flood of questions here. So I want to cover it before we close. Uh, Aisha Ahmed is asking, what are the job opportunities if I do criminology after my bachelor's in psychology? Well, definitely there are good avenues. Uh, for one, if you would want, we would be happy to take you like a professor uh, because, you know, after bachelor's, you could do your master's and then join as a professor. It's a it's a rare opportunity here because we don't get enough professors in this field. Uh, so you could look at academic as a field. You could look as a researcher as a field. You could apply as a general police uh, personnel. You know, there are multiple agencies in UAE which are working towards uh, forensic sciences. So you can definitely join those as well uh, one more thing i would like to add here aisha that uh, since the world population is moving from 7 billion to 9 billion there is a lot of cyber crime which is happening and yeah. uh, um, uh, banks and financial institutions are also uh, recruiting uh, uh, people who have a, a criminology background who are experts in criminology so there are a multiple uh, there are multiples uh, uh, job avenues for a criminology because because it is it is uh, uh, crime is going to be on the rise because of social unrest and many other factors so uh, there is a lot of opportunity so you can keep your line of thought uh, in that way and continue to work towards a great career uh, Gayanti Singh is asking uh, can I join master's degree as I all uh, I was a science student uh, uh, MSc uh, of course, Gayanti, you can you can uh, join a science degree. Okay, uh, Dr. Sujata Sarkar is asking: Is campus selection there in masters? Now, Sujata, Dr. Sujata, I would like to tell you that we at Amity University we have a very strong uh, corporate resource center, and uh, we have a very strong industry connect also. So frequently, um, uh, many companies they come to the campus to recruit, and uh, uh, definitely uh, you will have a great opportunity to uh, find a you know good placement every year in the month of March we have the annual placement week whereby uh, for five days we suspend all academic activity and we um, only um, uh, placement activity is uh, is uh, happens and last year we had 83 companies which visited the campus so uh, uh, placement is certainly um, campus selection is uh, very much possible okay so um, Palak Mishra is asking Asking, will I be able to get a job outside of UAE after I graduate from Amity uh, UAE? Yes, of course, uh, Palak, your degree is acceptable worldwide. So you can uh, you can be employed anywhere in the world. So that is uh, that is beyond question. And um, okay, Jessica, Jessica Vargas is asking, is it necessary to have a background in the science stream to pursue forensic psychology? I don't think that is uh, mandatory, uh, Jessica. Any stream, uh, you can be from any stream to take a bachelor's in psychology. Uh, okay, Priya Matthew is asking, can this degree allow to work as a clinical psychologist? Uh, Dr. Sonakshi? Uh, the bachelor's clinical degree? The bachelor's uh, degree? Can this allowed to work as a clinical psychologist yes if you if you're talking about a bachelor's degree like i said you have to do your masters to get into clinical psychology because you have to take a license so at this point of time uh, this bachelor's yeah this bachelor's don't need a, uh, uh, as a ba psychologist or ma psychology ma psychology also you are eligible to work as a clinical psychologist yes but nonetheless that, you have to have terrible. two years of work experience you have to have two years work experience uh, okay so uh, atika zuberi is asking if i do bachelor's in applied psychology could i pursue clinical psychology for masters uh, we just answered atika it is very much possible uh, fella is asking again do you provide transfer to the main campus in india uh, that is the uh, 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 fella you can transfer to any of the amity campuses in india so that is a seamless transition 
position uh, so that is uh, no problem and your credits can be transferred immediately now uh, devika manoj is asking what are the uh, job opportunities after doing a bsc clinical psychology uh, dr sunakshi yeah. anything this at this point of time you would you can look at two different avenues one is definitely working at a domestic or an international ngo uh, some something like a coach you know we have a lot of uh, students that could be trained as a coach um, so that is something that you could do and number two you could work at a, as a trainee in a corporate uh, however you at the at a bachelor's level you cannot pursue clinical psychology per se until unless you okay. have your master okay wonderful so i hope devika your question is answered here uh, biju koshi is asking is this uh, session recorded to listen again yes biju uh, tomorrow or uh, latest by monday afternoon you will get a recording in your mail uh, uh, for this session and we also uh, upload our videos uh, the webinar videos on youtube so definitely you will get it uh, by monday afternoon yeah uh, okay meera char is asking thank you for this presentation my question is uh, will i take biology in ba psychology in mit is there subject uh, related to biology uh, yes. uh, in the first semester you will be looking at a subject called physiological psychology which will cover to bio, which will cover the prospects of biopsychology so we will be teaching you that in the first semester okay so i hope meera that question was answered okay so uh, now no more questions uh, we are still waiting for your questions so while we are waiting for this questions i will tell you about the admission process now uh, currently we are open to the se september 2020 intake you can uh, visit our website uh, on the top right hand uh, corner there is apply online so you can apply uh, online or you can write to us at admissions at amity university Uh, dot ae and or info at amityuniversity.ae i will uh, leave both the email ids in the chat box right now and uh, you can write back to us we will need eligibility for bachelor's programs is uh, 10th mark sheet and your passport copy 12th uh, mark sheets are still on hold so we will, we can still issue the conditional offer letters to um, anyone who applies and the moment you have the uh, 12th mark sheet from whatever board you have done and whatever the um, the mark sheet that you are getting uh, is accept will be acceptable to us so we will issue the conditional offer letter now currently we are also running the early bird offer so you can get a 10% off on your tuition fees so uh, if, in case you have not applied till now uh, you should apply as soon as possible okay uh, now atika is asking that thank you for the previous answer my question is since i have got uh, i have not got my cbse marks how should i apply for scholarship now um, atika um, uh, you can still uh, you can still apply for the conditional offer letter and uh, wait for your cbsc mark sheet to come when we will uh, uh, when we will uh, issue the confirmed offer letter now uh, some of the scholarships are, we will, uh, the scholarship structure at amit university we have the merit scholarship so if you sc uh, score above 80% marks then you are eligible for a 25% scholarship if you ab uh, score above 88% marks then 50% scholarship and above 100% you are eligible for a um, 100% scholarship above 93% so uh, but we are running the early bird offer right now so you should uh, apply now and uh, at least uh, 10% you can uh, be sure of the scholarship and we will apply the whatever the high yes scholarship is um, applicable to you once your mark sheet comes we will apply that uh, okay so uh, scholarships uh, can be applied now or later on so you should take the early bird now the way which we are running uh, quinell is asking is this degree in applied psychology from amity university equivalent to a us or canadian bachelor's degree now uh, quinell um, equivalency of all degree programs is the same because um, uh, because if it is a degree from a recognized university which is wasc approved which is iit accredited or which is uh, uh, qacbe uh, accredited so all these degrees are equivalent to us or um, canadian uh, bachelor's degree and 
uh, there is no question about it. Uh, okay, so Atika Zuberi is asking, and how would the admission and fees be given? Now, um, admission is currently open. I just spoke about it that you can apply online or you can write to us at Amity University, uh, admissions at amityuniversity.ae. Uh, so I will just leave my email, uh, the email ID in the chat box. And uh, fees is um, uh, the fees for uh, psychology program is 40,000 dirhams, and uh, there is a caution deposit and registration application fee. So, once you uh, leave your number and your email ID, um, someone from the admissions department will call you and counsel you further. So, Atika, we will certainly give you a call tomorrow, and uh, because we have your phone number, so uh, definitely uh, we will advise you. Um, okay, uh, Sunny. Nia Nimra Sharif is asking, do we need to uh, write NEET exam to join the bachelor's course? Now, uh, Sanya, no. The eligibility to join the BA, uh, BA psychology uh, program at Amity University is your grade 12 mark sheet, uh, which you should have 60% above marks. So uh, that is the only qualifying uh, um, eligibility that you need to have uh, for joining our BA psychology program. So I am writing the admissions uh, uh, admissions at amityuniversity.ae that is the email id that you need to uh, contact us uh, uh, at uh, for your any further um, queries okay so palak is asking in case i if i can't travel for the first semester due to corona uh, covid 19 will i be able to join the second semester i've already paid my registration fees and will be paying my fees soon uh, thank you so much for that uh, palak um, if you cannot join uh, due to covid uh, certainly you will uh, be our classes will take place online and um, uh, which are which currently also they are doing um, uh, you can you can uh, be in touch online and your classes will continue the program will start on six, uh, 14th of september uh, as scheduled and uh, we are very very hopeful very optimistic that uh, students will be on campus by 14th of september so um, uh, Sharia Absar is asking, will there be any scholarship offered if my first year performance is great? Now, uh, Sharia, uh, the scholarships are decided at the time of admission. So all the scholarships are uh, uh, decided when you take admission with us and there is a continuation policy. So if you continue to maintain a certain CGPA for merit scholarships, the CGPA is nine CGPA for, for um, early birds, it is seven CGPA. GPA. So, so uh, if you can, and you should not have any back papers or any other uh, disciplinary um, issues. Uh, so, your uh, scholarship can be continued for the uh, subsequent years. So, you should uh, in the in the scholarship uh, letter, all the conditions are written. So, you should carefully read the conditions, and your scholarship will continue. Okay. So, any last uh, questions? This was the last one that I can see. Uh, I have sent you the email ID admissions at amityuniversity.ae. Tomorrow, definitely, we will start calling each one of you and we will counsel you separately on the fee structure, on the documents that you need to submit to us, and uh, various other um, admission formalities. So, we will hand you, uh, handhold you to, uh, towards that. And okay, so Meera Char is asking, uh, so I will take biology only in the first semester. Uh, only in the first semester, Dr. Sunakshi? Yes, because, uh, yeah, so what you're going to take is physiological psychology, which is a combination of her mind and body and uh, let's say psychosomatic concerns. So uh, you will take it in the first semester, but in the second semester and subsequent semesters, you will start looking at the impact of biology and psychopathology, which is, uh, you know, abnormal psychology per se. So you are going to study uh, biology, but you're going to study it vis-a-vis -vis the impact on the brain and the nervous system and the other, you know, psychosomatic concerns. Psycho means uh, mental and somatic means body. So mental, uh, mind and body concerns. That's how you want to study biology in the future. But you will be having bits and pieces of it. Yeah. 
Wonderful. So, Pella Sadat has uh, another question. How does a course with honors help? Now, uh, uh, Pella, um, uh, the University Grants Commission of India, they changed the nomenclature of all bachelor's programs to pass courses and honors uh, degrees. And honors degrees is a specialization uh, that starts from day one. So, uh, BA psychology means that you will have uh, uh, all the papers of psychology you will study for three years. So, uh, how does a course with honors help? It is the nomenclature, um, nothing more than that. Yeah. So uh, honors certainly signifies uh, honors certainly signifies that you are specialized in psychology. Yeah. Yes. Can I just uh, okay. ask? Can so, add something yeah, to that yeah. as well? Yeah, I often feel that, uh, you know, honors courses give you more uh, uh, hands on experience in us like ma'am said, you know, here, Dr. Kavita mentioned that honors means you're a specialist in that area. But when you take a past course, you're adding two, three subjects together. It does not give you a scope to understand one subject in particular. So an honors degree any day has a more superseding effect. Yeah, it is better. It is better than a past course. Uh, okay, yes. Atika Zuberi is asking, is it possible I could get the subjects offered in bachelor's degree? Uh, Atika, certainly we can send you the course outlines and uh, the co uh, program structure. So tomorrow, certainly we, you can ask your counselor. Uh, we will assign you one and she will send you the course uh, uh, structure. Now, Sama Nisar is asking, is there a difference between syllabus covered in BA psychology and BA applied psychology the nomenclature sama uh, if you are um, uh, i'm i'm sure uh, you are um, uh, you've understood that the uh, nomenclature here in amity dubai is ba applied psychology uh, so nakshi you would like to add something to this ba psychology and ba applied psychology what's the difference between the two in applied psychology you will be able to understand uh, different applied fields way more than a BA psychology course. A BA psychology course will only give you introduction to psychology and will give you child psychology in detail. But here in applied psychology course, you can nearly learn up to 15 to 20 different streams in psychology only. So, okay, uh, that's wonderful. So, Palak is asking, I would also like the course structure as well, but I can't find it on the website. Uh, no, Palak, we will certainly uh, send it back to you. Uh, uh, if Who's your counselor? Please let me know. So, I will ask her to send it, uh, uh, send it uh, to you. Okay, so we are coming. Um, these were some of the last questions. We we still have three minutes. So um, in case there is any uh, last thoughts that you would like to, um, you know, ask us, uh, please uh, do feel free to write here. And otherwise, uh, if there are some more questions, you can please write at admissions at amityuniversity.ae. Uh, I will, if there is any question for Dr. Sanakshi, I will pass it on to her. Uh, so uh, please, uh, please feel free to be in touch with us and um, the um, admissions process I have already told you about accreditations are in place and uh, the admissions are currently open our forms are available online on our website as well as we can send it to you uh, by mail also uh, okay uh, so Nimha Alvin um, that's the first question that you are asking, Nihama. Uh, do you have a master's degree with, with clinical psychology? We do have a master's degree in applied psychology. And um, uh, with clinical psychology, uh, Dr. Sunakshi, uh, can we specialize as clinical psychology? No, in, we have a master's in applied psychology where there are uh, two definite semesters in which you will, be, you will be studying abnormal psychology and psychopathology and counseling psychology in detail, which is the closest you can get to clinical psychology. That's wonderful. Uh, okay, so Simran Shaw is asking, what are the accommodation facilities uh, here at Amity Dubai? Uh, uh, Sim, uh, Simran, we have a very, very uh, beautiful uh, uh, complex uh, here in uh, the academic city in Dubai. And um, if you go to YouTube, you can see a video of our campus as well as our hostel facilities. Our hostel is located within the campus and uh, we have uh, sporting facilities. We have uh, um, a large number of um, a, a swimming pool we have all it, it's a beautiful uh, accommodation that we have and you
you can see the video on YouTube. Just type Amity University Dubai Hostel and you will get the uh, video. Uh, last one minute, uh, Atika Zuberi is asking, would I need recommendation letters for admission? Um, Atika, if you can get it, it's very good, but it's not a mandatory requirement for admission. Uh, Palak is asking, what will be my job options after getting a degree in MA in Applied Psychology? Uh, I think Dr. Sunakshi covered it very well uh, during her presentation that uh, there is there are a, a host of uh, uh, opportunities which are uh, going to open if you do a master's in applied psychology. Uh, I was very happy to hear about the application of uh, psychology in um, artificial intelligence and robotics, which is going to be the late, uh, newer fields uh, and the most upcoming fields in the in the um, uh, coming times because of multiple. Uh, uh, okay, so last question I'm taking, uh, do a license uh, necessary to get a job? Yes, in UAE, um, it's mandatory to get a license and there is a, uh, there are steps towards it. So um, we are coming to the close of this, uh, this uh, session. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Sunakshi, for joining me for this uh, um, uh, webinar. And it was, I hope it was very informative to all the participants and we will certainly get back to us, uh, to you, uh, tomorrow and please be in touch with us and apply online if you have not done uh, till now so it's bye from uh, both of us here uh, stay safe and stay healthy